This is a good thing. It helps you build trust and it helps make you and your roleplay partner closer. This episode was requested by my patron, Lee McDaniel. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about hearing no. We talked in a previous video about saying no gracefully, link up in the card for that. And in today's video, we're going to talk about hearing no gracefully. No one really likes hearing no, but it's a fact of life. And in a hobby like role play, where you kind of can't do it by yourself for the most part, sometimes you're going to hear no and have to respond to it. But first, a few things to remember when anyone rejects you, your idea, or really anything in this hobby. Accepting no doesn't mean you have to like it. It's okay to have your feelings hurt. It's okay to be disappointed or sad or even angry. But what's sometimes not okay is the way people can react to those feelings. When you accept someone's rejection or boundary, you open up potential new possibilities that wouldn't have been there before, so embrace it. In the long run, practicing accepting other people's no's helps build trust, improve your communication skills, and create long-term roleplay friendships. So, how do you respond when someone tells you no in a way that doesn't make the situation worse or potentially burn bridges? Let's go through some ideas on how to say no and when we might use those particular techniques. Thank you for letting me know. Saying something like this opens it up for the other person to tell you when you're either about to breach or have breached one of their boundaries. And it means they're more likely to tell you in the future when you've made them uncomfortable or hurt their feelings in some way. This is a good thing, because if they can tell you in that moment, that means things won't escalate or boil over or become worse than they would have been if they would have just told you at the moment they felt upset. Sounds good. Should I ask again later? When someone's no is phrased as not right now, it's important to clarify with them what later means. A good way to do that is to put the ball in their court. Start with an affirmative statement like, sounds good, or okay, or no problem. Then follow it up with a question such as, should I ask later, or when would be good for you? This allows them to both set a timeline and clarify if the later wasn't really a later and they were just trying to let you down gently. If they say they don't know, don't panic. Just say, okay, let me know when. If they never let you know, then you know, they were just trying to let you down gently and they didn't really mean later. I'm sad to hear that, but I'm glad you told me. This is a great way to accept a no when you're talking to someone who you're friends with or who you care a lot about, because for this one to work, you have to mean it. When using this kind of phrase, the relationship should be reciprocal as much as any relationship can be. And if the person you're responding to believes you, then they're more likely in the future to tell you no when they're not really feeling it, so be ready for that. This is a good thing. It helps you build trust and it helps make you and your roleplay partner closer. I still care about you. Use this when you're given big no's, such as a long-term roleplay partner saying they can no longer roleplay with you, or a beloved member of a roleplay group leaving the group. The reason to use this in these situations is because you want the other person to know that it's okay to come back when they're comfortable and confident to come back. Basically, use this to let the other person know that stopping roleplay doesn't mean you're not friends anymore. You're happy to continue the friendship regardless of roleplay. I'm not hearing yes, so I'll take that as a no. Use this one when you're first getting to know someone. Role players are shy and will often dodge around saying no. Um, see my saying no video if this sounds like you. Just like in other conversations around consent, using a yes means yes way of thinking about it is much more effective than a no means no way of thinking about it. If someone isn't explicitly saying yes or doesn't seem excited about the role play that you're getting ready to do, then let them know you're sensing that. I don't think it's good to let someone passively accept a roleplay that they don't want. 
Sometimes letting people do this leads to things like ghosting, or even worse, being told that you forced a ship or plot onto someone when that wasn't your intention. No problem, what about this idea instead? Or no problem, what would you like to do instead? This is best used when you're plotting with somebody and they're shooting down some ideas, but you don't feel like the door is totally closed yet to you two role-playing together. When you're in that initial conversation feeling each other out, it's hard to know if the roleplay is going to happen or if it does start happening, if it's going to last very long at all. When the other person rejects an idea that you've proposed, you should always accept that rejection, but then propose another idea or ask them to propose an idea, whatever feels more natural in the conversation. So that's it. That's the hearing no video. Uh, what do you guys think? How do you typically respond when somebody tells you no in a role play situation? Do you use some of these similar types of phrasings to the ideas that we proposed in this video or do you do something different? I'd love to hear about all of your experiences so let me know down below and as always of course don't forget to make it a great day.